This flowchart design is for a complete 500 TPD shelite or flotation process plant. The main equipment includes feeder, belt conveyor, ball mill, spiral classifier, chemical mixing tank, material mixing tank, flotation machine, thickener, disc vacuum filter machine. The raw ore information and customer's requirement for the plant as below. 1. Type of raw ore, shelite. 2. Maximum feeding size of raw ore, less than 400 milliliters. 3. Customer already has a crusher system at mine site and requested our flowchart design starting from the grinding part because the customer's crusher system will crush raw ore down to 20 milliliter. 4. Customer's requirement for the plant capacity is 500 tons per day. 5. Customer requested to dewater the concentrate after the flotation process. Characteristics of shelite ore. Shelite has good floatability. There are many gangway minerals containing calcium in the shelite ore, such as calcite, fluorite, apatite, and so on, which complicate the flotation process. According to customers' raw ore information and requirements for the plant and characteristics of shelite ore, our JXSC professional engineer designed the most efficient flowchart for this 500 TPD shelite flotation plant. Below is detailed explanation for this 500 TPD shelite flotation plant flowchart. 1. Already crushed ore less than 20 millimeters is unloaded to a fine ore bin. An electromagnetic vibrating feeder is installed under the fine ore bin to evenly feed less than 20 mm fine ore to the belt conveyor, then to the ball mill. 2. The ball mill uses 2.4 mallers diameter by 4.5 mallers length, which can achieve 500 tons capacity daily. 3. The output of the ball mill goes to the spiral classifier for classification of coarse particles and fine particles. The underflow of the spiral classifier is coarse particles, which will be back to the ball mill for grinding again. The overflow of the spiral classifier is fine particles, which are qualified materials, and go to the flotation process. The function of the spiral classifier here is to work with a ball mill together aimed to form a closed grinding circuit. The spiral classifier here uses double spirals by 1.5 meters diameter, also can use single spiral by 2 meters diameter to match 2.4 4.5 mm ball mill. 4. The qualified materials from the spiral classifier go to a material mixing tank. There are five chemical mixing tanks and five chemical storage tanks next to it. After the materials are mixed with chemicals, then go to the flotation machine. 5. The flotation process is divided into three stages. 1. The function of the first stage of flotation is to remove the sulfide in the raw ore. Ten cells of flotation machines are used, respectively. Three cells for roughing separation once, six cells for scavenging separation twice, and three cells for concentrating separation once, all of which use SF4 model flotation machine. 2. The function of the second stage of flotation is to remove the easy floating impurities in the raw ore. 18 cells of flotation machine are used respectively, 4 cells for roughing separation once, 12 cells for scavenging separation thrice, and 2 cells for concentrating separation once, all of which use SF4 model flotation machine. 3. The function of the third stage of flotation is to remove the gangway containing calcium in shelite. 18 cells of flotation machine are used respectively, 4 cells for roughing separation once, 8 cells for scavenging separation twice, and 6 cells for concentrating separation quintic. SF 2.8 flotation machine is used for roughing separation, scavenging separation, and the first concentrating separation, and SF 0.7 flotation machine is used for the second to fifth concentrating separation. After the three-stage flotation process, impurities such as sulfide and calcium-containing gangway were removed, making the final shelite concentrate with high grade and good quality. Finally, the shelite concentrate after flotation is sent to thickener by slurry pump for adjusting the slurry density that is required by the disc vacuum filter, then the underflow of thickener is sent to disc vacuum filter by slurry pump for filtering and dewatering concentrate. The overflow of thickener is clear water which goes back to the return water pool.